The math that we're teaching now is very rigorous. It's, uh, it's got a lot of depth to it. And the real life application is all over the place. So I think the Common Core challenges us to find those real life applications. And it's not just worksheets and it's not just doing the problems to do the problems. It's a challenge to us as teachers to find those real life applications and to make those connections for students. The advantage that we have in our system being a career and technical where our students are getting the academic and the career and technical is that the teachers have opportunities to collaborate with one another so that they're able to bring those connections where the connections from let's say the math teacher and the career and technical happen on both sides. So that becomes really, uh, makes mathematics far more relevant to our students. One success story I've had over the years of implementing Common Core would be um, seeing a student who has struggled with math, um, but we talk about the math practices because that's part of our Common Core standards for math. And one of those is persevering and problem solving. So at the beginning of the year, they really struggled with some of the earlier concepts. But over the year, we kept referring to this mathematical practice. I said, if, if you don't get anything out of my class, this is what I want you to take away because this can help you in your life. And so by the end, they were better and better at coming up with strategies to help them get through those difficult math tasks. And it, it wasn't always that they were right, but they stayed with it and they got to a strategy and they could get help and use their resources and get there and the student understood that by the end of the year and I was just so proud of them for for doing that because that's even something that, that adults struggle with daily. We had a teacher that was wanting to teach um, arc and measurement on angles. She created a Angry Birds set and this was a classroom of all boys, by the way. And these boys were not all on proficient level. Some were basic, some were below basic. And they built this uh, set for Angry Birds and then they shot the Angry Birds and then they had to measure the angle. They had to measure the height. They had to measure the distance. And that's a lesson that they're gonna take with them for the rest of their life because they were excited. They were having fun. They were engaged in what was happening in the classroom. One of the things that I, I really appreciate when I walk into math classes is, is I see more depth. Um, I also see as teachers are in meetings together, they're talking among grade levels to, to make sure that there's a, a greater breadth of knowledge. Um, I also see, and what's different from when I went to school, which, which I guess is quite a while ago now, um, we, we were taught the process, here's how you do it, and you were ta taught the algorithm, but you weren't taught the, the basics behind it. And I really think the Common Core is, is teaching students why things happen and gives them a greater understanding of how math works so they can translate that to, to other things uh, throughout life. Mm -hmm.